Hi there, RC Go here. Today we're gonna install some RC four wheel drive upgrades on my Traxxas T-Rex 4. It's been a minute since I've done a video on the Traxxas T-Rex 4. This thing is highly upgraded. I added metal axles, a ton of brass weight. This thing got super, super heavy. The stock tires and foams are super soft and weren't really designed for the weight that I've added to it. We're gonna install some RC four wheel drive Goodyear Wranglers, as well as some level eight Bully Pro beadlock rims. I'm also gonna be adding some RC four wheel drive King dual spring shocks. Lastly, we're gonna be upping the torque on our servo. I got a 35 kilogram servo from DS Servos, and then we're gonna test it out on the trail. So if you guys wanna see all these upgrades and how they perform, stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So if you guys wanna see more, make sure you like and subscribe. Also head over to my Instagram and Facebook. I'll put those links down below. I also have a couple other videos in the works. I ordered a Timber X recently, a Mavic Mini, a SCX24, and a Tundra Bush Plane. Videos coming for all of these, so make sure you guys subscribe and don't miss those. All right, let's check these out one at a time and then we're gonna install them. So let's zoom on in. First, we have our RC four wheel drive 90 millimeter King off-road racing shocks. These are officially licensed from King. So dual springs, how they work is that usually you have two different springs with different spring rates. These come pre-assembled and they're fully rebuildable, though they don't have any shock oil in them. So I'm gonna have to supply my own. I think I'm gonna use 30 weight because I believe that comes stock in the Traxxas TRX4. So we can use that as a starting point. They're aluminum bodied. They have the King logo etched in the top cap here. You can adjust your preload here with this threaded shock collar. And then the shock shafts have this titanium nitride coating. So that's that goldish color here. Okay, so I did get a shock tuned to my liking. So let's show you guys how I did that and we'll do the rest. Okay, so take your shock that you added oil to. I'm actually gonna remove the bottom spring so we can cycle the shock easily. Then we're gonna cycle the shock all the way to the top. Then add your cap and you're going to overflow the oil. And you can just catch the oil with a rag. Make sure that it's sealed completely. And you want to be make sure that you're not getting any pushback on your shock and that you can use the full travel. So that looks pretty good to me. I noticed that as the second spring is compressing, I'm getting a little bit of metal on metal rub here of this collar. So what I did is I took some grease and I put that underneath the collar here just a little bit so that we're getting really nice smooth movement. Wipe off your excess then we can add our bottom spring and there we go super smooth. We got our shocks installed. I think they look super cool. Now we're gonna move on to our bead locks and our tires. Let's zoom on in. So I'm gonna try out these new tires. These are the RC four wheel drive Goodyear Wrangler MTRs. These are 1.9 inner diameter, 4.75 outer diameter tires. These are also officially licensed. They look super scale. They're not too, too soft, but they're definitely not stiff. These are a single stage foam. There's not a ton about them on RC4 World Drive's website. Just like the tires, they feel moderately stiff. So these tires come as a set of two, so you're gonna need to get two pairs to have a complete set for your rig. For my beadlocks, these are RC4 Wheel Drive Level 8 Bully Pro 6s. These are 1.9 size beadlock wheels. They're fully licensed as well. These are aluminum beadlocks. It has a laser etch level eight logo on the side. They come as a set of four, so you're gonna get a complete set for your rig. And it comes with some hardware. It comes with a little adapter. This is an attachment for your hex bit. Attaches like that. And then you can tighten and loosen these.
All right, we got our wheels on. They look super sick. Kind of a pain in the butt to get those bead locks on, but I think they turned out really nice. I actually couldn't get the tread to be symmetrical on each side because you would have to have a left and a right tire. I don't think they sell them that way. They still look really cool and I'm excited to try them out on the trail. Last thing we have to do is install our servo. So let's get to that. Take it away. Okay, so just looking at the servo speeds, I connected them to a Y splitter and we can compare their speeds. I actually think this one, the new one might be a little bit slower, but since it's a crawler, it's not really a racer. You don't really need the fast turning speed. It's actually more scale if you turn slower. So I'm not too worried about the speed. This is supposed to be a higher torque servo though. All right, let's uh, finish the install. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick install. I'll put a link to everything in the description box below. So if you're interested, make sure to check them out. Thanks so much to RC4 Wheel Drive. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you later.